this video we're going to be dividing uh, these expressions and um, you might be dividing by using zero, with zero so we better look out for that so we'll do example uh, these four examples here so starting on example 1a please write it down 30 minus 45 over negative 2 plus 2 right <coughs> what does that give you 30 minus 45 over negative 2 plus 2. Please write it down and calculate the top and the bottom. So on the top we've got $30. Subtract $45. You'd be in debt by how much? In debt by 15, right? Or you could do this, plus negative. 30 positives plus 45 negatives. 15 negatives. And on the bottom, negative 2 plus 2, 0. So we have negative 15 over 0. Right. Now, we're dividing by 0. What does that mean, and why do we call it undefined? Well, let's give you a quick recap. Just look at what division means and what it's all about. Well, like if you take 10, the number 10 divided by 5, okay? Two fives added together make 10. That's why 10 over 5 is 2. That's one way of looking at it, right? If you take 10 divided by 2, look at this. How many fives, how many twos make 10? See all these twos? All these twos will end up making 10 eventually. So 10 over 2 is 5, right? If you look at this, 10 over 1, that's saying how many 1s will make 10, right? How many 1s? If you keep adding 1s, keep adding 1s together, 10 1s eventually will make 10. And you can go on. I mean, if you look at how many um, dimes are in 10, if you added up dimes, 10 cents, to make $10, right? How many dimes in $10? Imagine that was dollars, right? you would eventually find, well, you've got 10 dimes in $1, so there'd actually be 100 dimes in $10. So, when you divide by a small number, you get big numbers, and, and, and this is all fine. The problem arises when we divide by zero, because what we're saying is, how many zeros do I add together to get 10? If you keep adding zeros, when will you get to 10? So you can do it, like if you have any type of a number, like fives, you can add the fives, eventually you'll get ten. If you add twos, eventually you'll get ten. If you add ones, eventually you'll get ten, and so on. Right, so how many zeros do I add together to get ten? So if you add zero, 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 and zero, and zero, will you ever get to ten? No matter how many zeros you add together, you'll still end up with zero. Okay? So the point is, we will never get to 10. So this is undefined, it's impossible, it's undefined. Okay, it's undefined or impossible, same thing, right? Of course, the other way of looking at it is, well, if you multiply these two numbers, see that? Um, 10 divided by 5, to get that you say 5 times what gives 10, 5 times 2, right? and so on. 10 divided by 1 equals 10 is like saying 1 times what gives 10? 1 times 10 gives 10 and the answer is 10, right? Or 10 divided by 0 0.1 you'd be saying 0 0.1 times what gives 10, right? 0 0.1 times 100, 100 dimes would give 10 and if you look at this one you're saying um, do, ba, do, do, do. 0 times what gives 10 0 multiplied by what number gives 10? What number do you multiply 0 by to get 10? Well, it's impossible, isn't it? No number. It's impossible. You can't multiply 0 by anything to get 10, right? And so that's why we say 10 over 0 is undefined. And that holds for anything. I mean, if you had 7 over 0, it's like saying 0 times what number gives you 7. What number do you multiply 0 by to get 7? No number, right? Impossible. There's no number that'll work there. 
no number. There's no number that'll multiply by zero to give seven, or or any other thing. I mean, you know, a hundred uh, divided by zero is also a no number or undefined. The math books like to use the word undefined. It, it basically means no number, impossible, right? Anyway, back to here. Negative fifteen over zero is we call it undefined or no number, right? No answer. Okay, so go ahead and do this one. 7 minus 11 over negative 8 plus 8. Seven minus eleven. Seven dollars, spend eleven dollars, you're in debt by how much? Or you could do this, plus negative. Seven positives plus negative eleven plus eleven negatives. Seven positives and eleven negatives make four negatives. Negative eight plus eight makes zero. And again we've got zero on the bottom. So we're dividing by zero. And that is undefined. Right? Okay, now let's try these guys. 3 times 5 minus 15 over 18 times negative 2 minus 10. Press pause and uh, write this down. Three times five minus fifteen over eighteen times negative two minus ten. Okay, I hope you've written it down. So when we calculate the top three times five, we've got to multiply and then subtract because of the order of operations, right? So that gives us fifteen minus fifteen or zero on the top over and then we can multiply the bottom. 18 times 2, negative 36, minus 10. What's that? Actually, don't really need to do it at this point, but because we have already have 0 on the top, so the answer has to be what? Anyway, if we keep going with this, just for fun, negative 36 plus negative 10 is negative 46. So we have 0 over negative 46. Now this time we have 0 on the top. The other questions we had zero on the bottom is a totally different situation, completely different situation. Let's look at that. Okay. If you have zero on the top, that's like having zero dollars, right? And imagine if you divide that equally among two people. If you have zero dollars and you divide that equally among two people, how much money does each person get? Okay. So each person's going to get zero, right? It's like saying two times what gives zero. Two times what gives zero? Two times zero, right? Yeah. Another one, if you have zero dollars and you divide that equally among ten people, how much does each person get? Each person gets zero dollars. It's like saying ten times what gives zero? Ten times zero gives zero, right? So zero on the top is totally different to zero on the bottom. So just quickly write down the answer to this. What's zero over three and what's three over zero? What's zero over three, what's three over zero? Which is which? So zero over three equals zero, that's like zero dollars divided equally among three people, but three divided by zero is different. That's saying how many zeros add up to get three, or it's like saying zero times what gives three, and that is undefined. Okay, so zero on the top is zero, zero on the bottom is undefined, right? Hope you understand too. All right, so we have zero over negative 46. Zero dollars divided by negative 46. The answer is, I guess it's positive over negative. Well, what difference does it make? Because just for fun, I'll just write down negative zero. But I mean, that's obviously zero, isn't it? Negative zero, positive zero. Zero can't be positive or negative because it's just zero, right? Anyway, press pause and do this one yourself. Six minus three times two over two times negative seven minus five. Write it down and do it yourself. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll try it now. 
So on the top we gotta to watch out for PEMDAS, order of operations. We gotta multiply first. And we have three times two, which makes six. Okay, so you have to do that first. So six minus six on the top. So we get zero on the top. And on the bottom, two times negative seven, negative fourteen, minus five. Of course we don't even have to calculate this because we already know the answer has to be zero, because you've got zero on the top, right? But just for fun, I'll calculate that. That's negative 19. So 0 over negative 19 is 0, right? Answer is 0.